This young girl, bursting with energy, is called Reynan. When the earthquake struck on the 12th of January 2010, she was doing her schoolwork at home. A section of wall fell on her left leg. Her father quickly pulled her from the rubble and took her to hospital. A few days later, her leg was amputated. Later, Reynan was referred to Handicap International's Rehabilitation Center. She was given a temporary prosthesis, then a permanent device in June. She soon accepted her prosthesis, which she calls her real foot. She even keeps it on in bed. It makes sense to her because everyone sleeps with their feet. I'm no different. Reynan, her twin sister and her whole family once again live in the house they own in Petionville. It was not badly damaged and Reynan's father is trying to rebuild it little by little. Unfortunately, his business was destroyed in the earthquake. He scrapes together enough money to look after his family by doing odd jobs. His priority is to send his children to school. At 6.30 a.m., Reynan and her sister leave for school and stay until 1. Not sending your children to school is frowned upon in Haiti, but schools are expensive. Only 15% of schools are public, and parents have to pay to send their children to private schools. On top of the fees, uniforms, books and transport all need to be paid for. Reynan was initially very reluctant to return to school. The head did everything possible to make her feel comfortable from the start. Un jour elle est venue. Le lendemain, elle m'a dit qu'elle ne va plus retourner. Je lui ai demandé pourquoi. Elle m'a dit que les autres portent une jupe, moi j'ai un pantalon. Elle dit c'est vrai. J'ai demandé aux parents de mettre un pantalon pour toutes les autres. Ces photographies montrent des paysages différents. D'une côté, des paysages naturels où la plante pousse seule. De l'autre, des paysages humanisés où l'on retrouve le travail des hommes. Fini. Her life could have been ruined forever. But thanks to the support of her family and Handicap International, Rain Ann's life is just like any other little girl's.